Hello everybody, today I'm going to be doing a quick review, an overview of the APS uh, Weaver Rail mounted shotgun shell launcher is the best way to describe it. So what you have is you have a pistol size, so mounted onto a pistol, uh, shotgun shell launcher for APS and PPS styled shells. So they're the ones where the hammer would normally hit the primer, what would be the primer on the real thing, and it vents gas. So I'm using the orange PPS shells for the demonstration because my purple ones are leaking. So it's a polymer design. It's really simple to use. In order to load a shell, you pull back on this plastic bit here and you bring the front end down and round. You put a shell in, put it back up and release this bit and it's caught in, holding your shell securely. It has a safety which is pushing down this piece here. So now I can't press it in or pull it back. So there's no way it could fire or drop out. And then when I'm ready to shoot, it comes up and you just push it forwards. Didn't gas that shell. Just push it forwards. It fires out your BBs. Uh, three in this case, if it was the purple ones it would be six, or the APS ones, whatever, however many you've loaded of whatever you've loaded. And it really is that simple. You then pull back on the plastic bit again, pull it out, uh, slap in another one and you're ready to go. The FPS on this will vary on which type of shells you're using, how much you load into them and what you use as propellant. So that was using Neupro white gas. So that would be lower than if I used Neupro black. So it's all relative. Uh, you're looking between two to 300 FPS. So, uh, if you're gonna use guard or black or something like that, I'm sure you can get it up to 350. If you put guard or black or CR2 into a purple shell and only load one pellet, you can probably get it up to a thousand, so I wouldn't recommend that. You get a, quite a nice spread when you fired it. Uh, same with if you're using just the PPS shotgun or the APS shotgun. The only thing is you basically like a sawn off shotgun, you've got more spread straight away, you've got no barrel to funnel them down. So you do lose some of the range from it. But if you're using it on a pistol, then it's CQB anyway. You're going to be walking around a corner, there's four people. If you've got an APS one, you're just going to send a scattering of BBs down there. Down range. In order to attach it to a rail, it comes with this clip. So you're pressing this button on the right hand side of it. The clip will pull out and you can mount that to your molly, to your belt if you want, and then you can just walk around a corner, see someone there, whip it off and push it forwards. But to attach it to a rail, all you do is you push it, put it up to the rail. Let's see if I, yeah, we'll use this. So to mount it to your rail, you line it up with your rail, then you press in that button that we just pressed in in order to take the clip off. Press that in, it mounts on, and you're ready to go. It's not going anywhere. Wobbles a bit, but it's securely held on. And yeah, it's a fun bit of kit to use in CQB. It's for, if you want to load it, then you've got to find somewhere quiet for a couple of seconds, but it is quick to load, especially if you've practiced with it. Um, Mounted under a pistol, it gets a bit more finicky because you've got the pistol to deal with as well, but as a single use thing in a game, it's brilliant. Uh, the purple ones make a nice pop when you fire it as well, so that puts some uh, a bit of a scare factor into there, as well as the fact that you've got three, six or 24 BBs flying at you every time you see him or her using it. 
So that's a quick overview of the APS La shotgun launcher. I hope you enjoyed the video. Thank you for watching.